friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Excuse my appearance, I did jazzercise this morning before I headed out to the grocery store, but it's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. If you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, ring that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. We do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Down in the description box, you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, so I would be happy to do your personalized macros and calories for you, let you know where you should fall every day to be most successful, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're looking for just a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I can definitely offer that to you as well. So check that out down in the description box, along with links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, and my Facebook group are also down in that box. So definitely check it out before you go. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep. Here's my grocery haul for this next week. I ended up going to both Target because they had quite a few great deals on their app. And of course, Trader Joe's. A couple of non-food items. I love picking up fresh flowers from Trader Joe's. They last a very long time. In fact, these flowers here on my dining room table have been here now. This is going on almost four weeks and they still look really good. I just change out the water. $3.99 for an entire bouquet. So I'm going to replace those yellow flowers with these. They're a little more Easter vibes. They have a new body butter grapefruit. It was $4.99, I believe. I love their body butter. It is very moisturizing, great on your feet if your feet get dry, and I love grapefruit scented anything, so I picked that up. Some healthy requests, tomato soup. This is for a dinner recipe. A big can of organic diced tomatoes. I needed two 14 ounce cans or one 28 ounce can for dinner. Cut green beans for Diesel and Lola, and most likely Palmer. As you guys are watching this video, we are on our way home from picking up our new puppy, so stay tuned for lots of Palmer and dog videos coming your way. I only needed a 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, but Target has very limited organic tomatoes. So I ended up just picking up a 20 eight ounce can. I also needed kidney beans and they didn't have any organic, so I opted for the three bean blend. A small can of tomato paste, my only option was Hunt's unfortunately, again, nothing organic at Target. Sliced olives because we are having a pizza night this next week. I couldn't pass up this pack of chicken, $5 off, normal price $9.27, so I paid $4.27 for over three pounds of chicken breast. Definitely can't pass that up. I just immediately divide these out into one pound servings, pop them in my freezer, a bag of brown sugar because I am completely out of regular brown sugar, mozzarella cheese for our pizza night. This is my favorite. This is the lowest point mozzarella cheese, two points for one ounce or a quarter of a cup. It is a little bit pricey, $4.99, but it is absolutely incredible mozzarella cheese. Two big containers of the reduced fat good culture. Target doesn't have the full fat and I just didn't have time to go to one more store. So I just picked up two of these. Troy asked for a refill of A1 because he's completely out. I don't use A1. I don't like it. I think you should just eat steak without sauce. Who else is with me? Leave it down in the comments. Let me know if you use a steak sauce or if you just eat it with all its delicious seasonings. Picked up the Oatly oat milk. I am going to try to recreate my favorite Starbucks drink, the brown sugar cinnamon shaken espresso. You guys will see this in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. I'm going to play around with it and tweak it and try to get it as close to Starbucks, but lower calorie and lower point as I possibly can. A restock of French onion dip for Troy. He asked for this. He's about out of his French onion dip and he wanted this and of course his Trader Joe's corn chips, which you'll see next. The Trader Joe's organic corn dippers. These are the best corn chips. They beat Fritos a million times over. They're big, they're perfect for dipping. So I picked those up for him for that dip. If you're a Target shopper and you love kombucha, the Hum brand is 40% off right now at Target. So I paid $1.79 per bottle. They only had two flavors, the blueberry mint and raspberry. Now this one says tastes great, less sugar. It's only 30 calories per container. So it may actually be less than three points per bottle. As you guys know, I count all kombucha as one point per bottle, but you can't beat 
40% off. I picked up some horseradish sauce because I will say this is one thing I like on steak or to dip my steak in. I also love dipping the Arby's curly fries in horseradish sauce. It gives me Arby's vibes. And here are the Arby's curly fries. This is definitely a repurchase for us. We just had these with our steak the other night for dinner. So good. They are a complete dupe for the deep fried Arby's fries. You can't even tell the difference. We've cooked them both in our air fryer and in the oven and they taste just like Arby's but way less points, calories, and fat. A big container of a natural creamy peanut butter for Troy. We're just about out of peanut butter, and I do need this for a couple of recipes for meal prep. The family size box of a Special K red berries. This is both of our very favorites. I would say that this is my number one. The raspberry is my number two. The blueberry is my number three. I haven't tried any of the other flavors, but both Troy and I love this. So I picked up the big family size box. This is our pizza crust for our pizza night. We love the Good and Gather organic pizza crust ready to bake. It is so good, you guys. It's organic, nice, clean ingredients. For or one third of the pizza crust is 150 calories or the entire crust is 440 and there are two crusts per bag. A big bag of organic red potatoes. I needed red potatoes for two or three dinner recipes this next week. We are completely out of marinara sauce and I just have not been making the skinniest dish for some reason. So I picked this one up at Trader Joe's. This one is delicious. It's a perfect pairing of tomato and basil. So we'll have that on hand in our pantry. You either love them or you hate them when it comes to peeps. I love peeps. They're a pretty low calorie, low point dessert. The cotton candy ones are so delicious. So Target had this little three pack. They're are four peeps per pack. All four peeps or the entire pack is 110 calories. We haven't had these forever since we were doing a lot of camping. These are the Trader Joe's Baked Cheese Crunchies. We love these and I'm going to take these on the road when we go to pick up Palmer. There was also a coupon on the Target app for the Cretors. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the cheese and caramel mix. It's 100 calories per cup. Of course the points are here on the screen. I picked this up again just to take with us as a snack. We just need some quick, easy car snacks and hotel snacks, just so we're not going out for literally every single meal. Picked up the Trader Joe's organic Caesar salad kit. My mom is actually going to be spending both Thursday and Friday night here at our house with our dogs while we're gone. And I told her that I would feed her dinner on Thursday. So I'm not sure what we're going to have exactly, but I did pick up the Caesar salad kit for a side. A bag of frozen organic peas. These are just the steam in the bag. I needed this for a dinner recipe. Two big avocados because I love avocados and sometimes a girl just wants avocado, not the guacamole dip. And these were on a great price at Target. I think 89 cents per avocado. Little tip, pro tip that I just learned with avocado, leave them out to ripen and then put them in the fridge once they're ripened and they will last a very long time already ripe, ready to go in the refrigerator. So I'm definitely going to do that with these two. Everything else is zero point produce, a big bag of broccoli florets. I need this for a dinner recipe. Mushrooms, I actually needed sliced mushrooms, but Trader Joe's doesn't have them sliced organic. So I always just pick these up and slice them myself. No surprise, a bag of organic lemons for my water. A big pack of celery. This is for a dinner recipe and also for snacking. I don't know, strawberries were calling my name and this big pack was $8.99 at Trader Joe's. That's expensive, but it's not terrible, especially when they're not 100% in season. So I picked those up and then a big, huge bunch of bananas because I thought that would be a really easy fruit to take with us on the road. So that is my grocery haul. Let's jump into what you'll be seeing for meal prep as well as what I'm making for dinners for the next week. So here's what is on the menu for this week, 327 through 42. I can't believe it's April already. Completely blows my mind how fast this year has went. Today, as you're seeing this video, like I mentioned, we are on our way home from picking up our new puppy. So stay tuned for lots of Palmer, Diesel, and Lola footage coming your way. Sunday, I'm going to be making vegetable beef soup. This is in the crock pot, so it's very easy for when we return from our trip. You will be seeing that recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday night, I'm going to do BLTs per Troy's request. 
Tuesday is leftovers, of course, and Wednesday I'm doing a ground beef casserole, just getting a little bit of protein and vegetables. Thursday night, we're gonna have a pizza night. I'm pretty excited for that. And then Friday, of course, we always just have leftovers for any meals earlier in the week. Here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm going to be making lemon poppy seed muffins. These scream spring. I'm going to pair these with some protein and some fruit and it will be a perfect breakfast. For lunch, I'm doing a chicken and roasted potato bowl. So this is going to be one big bowl full of veggies and potatoes and chicken. It's going to be very satisfying, filling and full of protein. And then dessert, I'm making a peanut butter crumble bar. So this is kind of a homemade granola bar. I'm pretty excited for this. So you again will see all three of these recipes on Monday in meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you got some great food inspiration from this week's haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. It is grocery haul day every Saturday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out that description box for personalized macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Both can be found on my nutrition coaching website. Links, discount codes, do all of my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.